yo what is going on you guys welcome back to another what if video and in today's what if video we will be doing part five of what if both sonic and miraculous ladybug were in the same universe last time we covered the events of sonic and the secret rings now the trio of sonic and ladybug cat noir went dark spine to stop eraser jin's final form alpha the wall layla and managing to fix the book uh the storybook world of the arabian knights and once I say this, and now it's not like the Secret Rings out of the way, we can finally move on to both the beginning of Miraculous League of Bucks Season 4 and Sonic Unleashed, which was hinted back at the end of Part 3. And we're now jumping into it, but before we go ahead and get into this, make sure you guys go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what you all thought of Parts 1 uh, through 4, and if you're excited for Part 5, without further ado, let's jump right back in to where we left off. As the events of Sonic and the Secret Rings pass, we find out a lot uh, that we found out a lot that's happened uh, with our heroes. Firstly, being Marinette trying to essentially master her guardian powers and learn more about the Miracle Box, with both uh, Tails and Team Darb helping as Team Darb managed to get access to some ancient writings at the remains of the Temple of Miraculouses. Alongside this, Tails demands to translate the ancient writings for Marinette as she begins to learn more about the Miraculouses and the Miracle Box. While that's happening, both Sonic and Shadow are gathering up the chaos animals just in case something bad happens during a battle, and they need them. And to make matters more challenging for the heroes, more and more bad necks have been showing up to Akuma fights, and Akuma's villains have had more and more robotic enhancements, courtesy of Dr. Eggman, showing how strong his alliance with Hawkmoth in fact has become, or pretty soon, Shadowmoth. However, unbeknownst to the heroes, the evil duo has new tricks up their sleeve, as Dark Gaia, uh, the new Dark Gaia plan, will need some time, but that doesn't mean the evil duo doesn't have anything new to show from it, uh, show from it, far from it, as Eggman suggests unifying both the Butterfly and Peacock Miraculous to make himself stronger, to which Gabriel agrees and has become stronger, and on top of it all off, Bandit production has increased substantially as their Dark Gaia plan is slowly put into action. So overall, a lot has recently happened for both the heroes and villains, but the heroes are still managing to pull through and get the job done, and for both Marinette and Adrian, they are still managing to balance both their civilian and hero life. One day, as Marinette is in the middle of trying to figure out more about the Miracle Box with the help of Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and the Kwamis, uh, she ends up asking Tiki. So, they all live in there? Yes, except for Nuru and Dusu, who are being held captive by the bad guys. Whoa. That's incredible. Mr. Phone never let them out? Only Kwamis like me, who have a holder like you, can go out into the human world, Marinette. Dang, that must suck. Yeah, great, Knuckles. But isn't it a bit cramped in there? Oh no, there's a whole parallel world inside. Of course, being out here is much more interesting. You humans and creatures like Sonic are so inventive. Hey, what's that button on the top of the miracle box? Marinette pushes the button as the box opens and all the Kwamis are released from the box. As Marinette falls over while Sonic tells the Knuckles look shocked. Yeah, they couldn't get out! Yeah, how did they get out? Yeah, the Guardian, the box has become just like you, full of surprise. Kwamis begin to go around Marinette's room and start messing with stuff, or destroying stuff, as Marinette, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles try to catch all of them. Alongside this, Marinette gets a call from Luca reminding her of their day, that she heads out along with the trio of Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. And while that's happening, we cut to Shadow as we see him doing some kind of investigating, more than likely trying to figure out who Shadow Moth is. He's trying to track down where the Akumas are coming from, while also trying to match voices to see if someone's voices uh, matches or sound similar to Shadow Moth. However, Rouge calls him, informing him that Mr. Pigeon has in fact returned again. Much to Shadow's annoyance, since this is a pretty big operation trying to figure out who Shadow is, as not only will we uh, be able to figure out who Shadow, uh, Shadow Moth is, but they will also be managed to figure out as well, essentially, where Eggman is. And Mr. Pigeon showing up again, it does nothing but waste his time, but he quickly heads off to deal with him. Along with this, Marinette, who's forced to lie to Luca and ditch their date, but quickly arrives and meets up with the group as he easily takes down Mr. Pigeon, and Marinette heads back to her date with the help of Sonic. However, this becomes a constant pattern as Marinette is constantly forced to date Ditcher dates with Luca in order to go fight a Kumatized villains alongside this with other events planned and gatherings Marinette planned with her friends and family. And it's beginning to take a toll on her as the Sonic cast noted this, specifically Sonic, as both him and Marinette have formed essentially a older brother, younger sister type of relationship at this point. And it's pretty obvious that Sonic is concerned for her, as he does see Marinette as a little sister, and wants to help her any way he can. Thus, one night after patrol, Sonic asks to speak with her privately, and the two meet up with Sonic asking her, Hey, uh, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Really? So you're not stressed out in any way from all the work that you've been doing in both your hero life and your civilian life? Yes, Sonic, trust me, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm not buying it, especially since you missed tons of dates with Luca and social gatherings with your friends. Heck, your son does miss patrol or get their labor because you, you're clearly stressed out. You have a lot on your plate, Marinette. Come on. <sighs> you're right. I've been stressed out. It's just... I have so many responsibilities that I'm beginning to feel, feel overwhelmed, Sonic. 
Sonic puts a hand on her shoulder and says, Hey, if you're stressed out, just come to one of us for help. You're still just a kid, Marinette. Having this many responsibilities is just way too much for a kid. Come to one of us for help. We'd be happy to help you out. Ladybug smiles and hugs Sonic and ends up saying, Sonic, anytime, Marinette. Anytime. Now, although this conversation reminds Marinette of the friends and family she has, she still struggles with all her responsibilities and relationship. The biggest relationship she's struggling with being her relationship with Luca, as she still wants to keep her identity secret from him, and is still ditching her days with him to go be a ladybug. And after a while, Luca asks Marinette about this, but she says she can't tell him. Our unbeknownst to the two of them, Shadow is there as he was trying to get some more information on where Shadow Moth could be or uh, who Shadow Moth is. And as soon as he sees Marinette uh, say she can't tell him and he sees the look on Luca's face, Shadow quickly realizes what's about to happen as he sees an Akuma and an Amok head for Luca. Shadow quickly yells out, Luca, Marinette, watch out, an Akuma and Amok is coming. However, it's too late as both the Akuma and the Amok fly into his guitar pick of Luca's. Shadow Moth then speaks to him. Truth. I am Shadow Moth. I'm giving you the power to force people to tell you their most sacred secrets. It needs to be shared, not taken by force, Shadow Moth. Shadow Moth? Luca, please resist. I am so sorry. Why should you resist when she doesn't trust you? Marinette does trust me. I do. Of course I do. Marinette, we need to go. Now. If she trusted you, then she would tell you the truth. <sighs> Accept my power and you will know everything. And all I ask of you in return is to expose Ladybug and Cat Noir's little secrets. Marinette, we need to go. Come on. Marinette, Shadow, run. Shadow grabs Marinette and the two run away to find the rest of the Sonic cast. And so Marinette could transform. While that's happening as well, Luca transforms it. It's given a robotic enhancements of uh, thanks to Eggman. Along with some bad persistence and a scenty monster uh, as well. And heads off to find out uh, people's secrets and draw Ladybug, Cadabo, and the Sonic cast. And after finding out a few secrets, it seems he's back to figure out Ladybug's identity. When Sonic comes in using a spin dash and his new ability, the boost, which knocks Truth back as Cat Noir grabs Ladybug and throws uh, both her and himself into the water. This way, her identity won't be exposed and allow Ladybug to use her staff to cover her mouth so her identity won't be exposed. And after managing to rescue Jagged Stone from Truth, they hide uh, so the sentient monster won't find them. But after Truth heads to the uh, Marinette's family's bakery and finds out she has a diary, he tends to grab it, but is stopped by Lady Bugs Yo-Yo wrapping around him. And Shadow is using Chaos Control, and Cat Noir gets an idea. After activating Cataclysm, he tells Lady Bug to take off his staff. Lady Bug, tell us what's your top three favorite qualities in Cat Noir? I have to say, it's his courage, his self-confidence, but really the quality I like most in Cat Noir is his humor. The Sonic has quickly realized what he's trying to do, and Sonic gets an idea with him smirking. Lady Bug, what do you think about my past battles, and which one do you think is the best? I have to say, some of your past battles are incredible, but I think the best either be Perfect Chaos or Metal Overlord. Uh, ladybug, under your mask, what do you use when all seems lost? My lucky charm! After saying that, her lucky charm activates and she gets a box from Luminous Book. Before she can use her lucky vision, Badniks surround them. Alongside this, Metal Sonic has arrived on the scene and prepares to go in for attack. However, Sonic spin dashes into metal as Truth ends up hitting Cat Noir with one of his beams, as Sonic, Shadow, and Knuckles to all take on Metal Sonic. Truth then attempts to ask Cat Noir. Noir, tell me what you think about my new role If it doesn't change things between us, then I'm good with it. Ladybug then manages to use her lucky vision and manages to free both the Akuma and Amok, while the Sonic has managed to destroy all the badniks and force Metal Sonic to tree. Ladybug then proceeds to quickly purify the Akuma. From there, everything goes back to normal as we cut to Shadow Moth in his lair, with them being angered at the, at the heroes won again. But Eggman appears behind with them, saying, Calm down, my friend. We'll get them. Especially when the Dark Gaia project is ready. You're right. They won't last long. Meanwhile, Luca and Marinette have just broken up, and Marinette is crying tears of sadness as the Kwame's comforter. Sonic then arrives and sees the state that Marinette is in and approaches her, and ends up asking, Hey, you, you alright? I'm fine. You're clearly not fine. Marinette then breaks down with her, saying, As long as both Shadow Moth and Dr. Eggman are threats to her friends and family, she can't have a boyfriend. Sonic calms her down, comforting her with him, saying, We'll find them. Mark my words, we will find them. Besides, Marinette, you have friends and family who still care about you, who want the best for you. I want the best for you. I see you as a little sister, Marinette. I don't want to see you like this. You're stronger than this, and you've been through worse, and there are still people who care about you, myself included. You have people you can talk to, Marinette. Trust me. People care about you. Thank you, Sonic. Marinette hugs Sonic as Sonic hugs back. 
premiere every single season for all the way up to Furious Food mostly plays out the same. The only difference being the addition of the Sonic cast. And once we have a Furious Food, that's when major changes begin uh, to occur. Once uh, more, as Dr. Eggman uh, from The Shadow says, uh, continuously working on their Dark Guy project, and it's almost complete. As Shadow Moff ends up asking Dr. Eggman, How much time till it's complete? Just a little longer. For now, we need to keep them on the little goose chases. Shadow Moff nods his head and heads back into his later. Meanwhile, both Marinette and Sonic are getting ready to meet uh, with Master Fu, or now Wong Fu, and all the comments want to go. Marinette reminds them why they can't come. Since Marinette is not the guardian of the Miracle Box, Wong Fu is like everyone else. He can't know about the Miraculouses or the Miracle Box, but Wallace has managed to convince the duo to let him come along. And thus, they head off to go meet him, and after everybody catching up with him and learning how he's become a famous painter in London, they head back to Marinette's house, and along the way, they end up running into Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Krim, and Jermel. And once they arrive in Marinette's room, they encounter Sue Han, shocking the heroes to Marinette asking, But isn't Marinette the guardian of the Miracle Box, though, or the Mother Box? Astral Guardian was in charge of it before the incident caused by Master Fu. How did you find her? Guardian staffs hold compasses that allow the boxes to be tracked at all times. How come Marinette didn't get a staff? Precisely because you are not a true guardian. How is Marinette not a true guardian? The misunderstanding and the incorrect shape of the box proves it. The box looks fine to me. Yeah, besides, Master Fu entrusted me with it. Su Han would then go on to uh, make fun of Master Fu a bit and get annoyed since he lost both the butterfly and Peacock Miraculous. It would also go over certain rules that they're breaking. But Sonic would end up cutting it with him, saying, So what? She's only breaking a few rules here and there. Not a big deal. These are tradition. Also, my tribe had a few rules I didn't follow, as some of those rules led to their death. After a while talking to Su Han, they go meet up with Cat Noir as well as Team Darkening and Team Chaotix. As Su Han explains how they'll find adult holders for Ladybug and Cat Miraculous and tells Ladybug to renounce the Miracle Box, they decide to fight back uh, and Su Han goes to attack with Ladybug and Cat Noir. However, Shadow pulls out the green chaos from one and uses Chaos Control. With that, time is slowed down and Shadow quickly chaos blasts, throwing Su Han back as Sonic uses Spin Dash and both Knuckles and Jermel punch Su Han in the face, causing him to go flying. However, Suwon gets back up and looks at Shadow with both anger and amazement and ends up asking, You're capable of using chaos control? Yes, and since you know what it is, I'm assuming you've seen someone use it before. Yes, but how are you capable of pulling it off? This to be being connected to a group of aliens called the Black Arms. I have their DNA, and one of my creators, Black Doom, was capable of using chaos control. And since I have his DNA, I'm also capable of pulling it off alongside with the chaos or other chaos abilities. Say, I'm impressed. Hmm. The bug then uses her yo-yo to create a distraction, allowing him to get away and grab a staff. Alongside this, Shadow Maul ends up feeling negative energy and tells Eggman, I feel a mixture of mysterious emotions. Doctor, get both the Bandix and Metal Sonic ready. All ready on it. From there, everything that leads to Master Wu being kumatized and becoming Furious Fu plays the same. As Lee Wu, Ken, Wall, and the Sonic cast come up with their next move. However, Su uh, Han finds them and attempts to attack. However, Knuckles punches him in the face as Shadow uses another Chaos Control and grabs him, throwing him to the ground and uses a Chaos Fear. Along with this, Furious Fu has arrived and attempts to grab the Miracle Box, but Sonic spin into him and uses the boost, throwing Furious Fu back flying as Su Han keeps trying to get the Miracle Box alongside this. From there, the fight mostly plays out similar to the original episode, the only difference being the fight is faster thanks to the help of the Sonic cast, and Su Han allows Marinette to keep the Miracle Box, along with the Ladybug Miraculous, and allows Cat and Ward to keep his Miraculous as well. However, unbeknownst to the heroes, Gabriel deactivates the transformation, and he approaches the Doctor, and he ends up asking, Is it finally ready, Doctor? It's finally finished. The Doc. Gaia Project can now begin. Gabriel smiles evilly as he quickly reactivates his transformation, and both Dr. Eggman and Shadow Moth hop on a battleship Eggman has created. Alongside this, he's created a whole fleet, and they all head up to space, catching the attention of Sonic as he sees the battle fleet head up to space. He quickly tells both Marinette and Adrian this, so both of them activate their astral transformations while Sonic quickly gathers all seven emeralds, and from there, the trio heads off to space. Meanwhile, both Dr. Eggman and Shadow Moth are in the middle of the battleship, essentially the main ship of the fleet. The two of them are laughing evilly until something gains their attention as we see the trio of Sonic, Astro Ladybug, and Astro Cat Noir arrive as units are dispatched to handle them. As Eggman says, The 
bullets begin to fire at the trio as they dodge and begin to destroy Eggman's robots while also capturing any Akumas in them. Eventually, after a while, both Dr. Eggman and Shadow Mom join the battle, and a new mech, Eggman, uh, is built and begin shooting at the trio as they dodge, and after a while, they manage to catch the trio. However, the trio have a trick up their sleeve as they unveil the seven Chaos Emeralds, transforming into their super forms, and all three of them begin to destroy all of Eggman and Shadow Mom's battleships. And Super Sonic manages to corner both Eggman and Shadow Mom as the two fall on their knees with Eggman saying, Sonic, uh, I'm sorry, really, look, c go easy on the two of us. I'll turn over a new leaf, I, I swear. Same, d I I'll, and I'll give back my, my miraculouses, both of them. Please, just give us a chance. Well, this is new. Showing remorse, Eggman and Shadow Mom. You played nice. I wouldn't have to break all your toys. However, both Eggman and Shadow Moth grin as Eggman pushes the blood and simply says, gotcha. that emerge on the floor, shocking Supersonic as he attempts to escape but is trapped in a high energy shield while both Eggman and Shadow Moth laugh. Both Super Ladybug and Super Cat Noir come in and are horrified at what both Eggman and Shadow Moth are doing ha uh, to Sonic and try to break him out, but Eggman ends up smiling with him, saying, Oh, I don't think so. Eggman then pushes another button, trapping both Super Ladybug and Super Cat Noir as the Chaos Emeralds are ripped out of the trio, returning them to normal. Eggman then orders, FIRE! From there, the Chaos Energy Cannon fires a beam on the planet, separating it into multiple pieces as Dark Gaia emerges from the planet's core. As with Dr. Eggman and Shadow Moth watch in amazement. While that's happening, some of Dark Gaia's energy goes into Sonic, transforming him into Sonic the Werehog, while some of the other Dark Gaia energy goes into both Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculouses, transforming them both into Dark Bug and Cap Long, respectively. The Chaos Energy Cannon then deactivates as both Eggman and Shadow Moth look pleased with the results. A brilliant success! It's just as the Dark Gaia manuscripts foretold. The entity that was sealed within the planet has awakened. Excellent work, Doctor. All that time waiting paid off. Thank you, Shadow Moth. But anyway, now we just need to harness his power. Eggman Land will finally come to be! And we'll be able to use his power to get the Miraculouses as well. I've really gone and done it this time, Eggman Shadow Moth. You have. And for that, you're gonna pay. Ah, uh, really? Are we now? And how are you going to do that when we already knocked you three out of your super forms and are barely managing to stand up? And with you three just barely managing to stand up, it shouldn't be that hard to take your miraculouses. We'll see about that. Dark Bug then throws her yo-yo at the window, allowing the three of them to escape and to fall down to Earth to discuss their next move. Along with this, the Chaos Emeralds fall with them, and Dark Gaia screeches before separating all across the world. The trio then fall to Windmill Isle and manage to get up. Sonic then ends up asking, You two okay? I'm fine. Cat? I'm good. The three look around and notice something and approach it. Sonic gets to picking it up with him asking, Are you okay? Oh, can't. I can't get another bite. Hey, pull yourself together. Huh? Chip notices the trio and begins to panic, thinking they're monsters. Don't eat me! I taste bad! We're not gonna hurt you. We just wanna make sure you're alright. Anything broken? Fine. Thanks for asking, Monster Trio. Monster Trio? The three look at themselves with Cap Long saying, Looks like things have gotten pretty ugly, huh, guys? Over both Werehog and Dark Bug look at Cat Block with fear and shock, respectively. Cat Block then remembers back to when Mephiles showed him the events of Cat Block and remembers how he looked all white. When he was Cat Block akumatized, Cat Block would then end up asking, Was this how I look when I got akumatized? Yeah, exactly like that. I anyway, w what's your three names? I'm Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm Ladybug. And I'm Cat Noir. What's your name, little guy? Hmm. Huh? What is my name? Ah, I don't know. I can't remember. What? You forgot who you are? Yup. I remember something falling from the sky. <clears throat> and everything just going all white. The trio are sure Chip, that they'll find someone to help him regain his memories. And when the sun comes up, the trio turns back to their normal forms, shocking them and Chip. But they decide to head off and they arrive at Opertos. 
From there, everything plays out the same until they meet up with Tails, as Tails sees his read of them and is shocked at what they look like, with him asking, Ladybug, Cat Noir, is that you three? It's us. That's a new look. What happened? You know us. Never a dull moment. Chocolate? Uh, thanks. Heroes leave as Sonic, Ladybug, Cat Noir explain their adventure to Tails, at least so far. That's some story. I'll uh, bet that means that you three turning into that and the planet breaking apart are somehow related. Yep. Much. We need to find both Eggman and Shadowmoth and have them fix us fast. Without that, I think I know someone who might know something about what's going on here. Really? Who? Professor Pickle over at Spagonia University. Mm -hmm. I came to this city to gather some data. If we add that to his research yeah. findings, we might be able to get to the bottom of all this. But isn't Spagonia a continent uh, over? John, if the planet were broken. No problem. My Tornado One will get us there in a flash. Hold on, Tails. Before you leave, let me get some help real quick. DARPA quickly unifies both the Ladybug and Horse Miraculous. It opens a portal and grabs both Ollie and Nino, handing them uh, to them their miraculous and quickly explains the situation to the two. Thus, they're ready to help, and the heroes head off on the Tornado One. From here, everything plays out mostly the same, up until Professor Pickle shows in the Dark Guardian manuscripts, with Professor Pickle going into detail about how this isn't the first time the plane has been split apart, and the Professor also explains how if they restore the Chaos symbols, they should be able to put a stop to Dark Gaia, thus the heroes head off to find these temples, and arrive at Amusia um, during the day, where they see both Eggman and Shadow Moth in the middle of a scuffle with the villagers, with the village leader, Yawa, asking the two, Who are you two? If you all behave, you won't have to do anything nasty. All you need to do is tell me where the Temple of Gaia is. We're not telling you anything. Sonic, Ladybug, Cat Noir, Rain of Rouge, and Carapace then appear, destroying all the Eggman robots, shocking both Eggman and Shadow Moth with Eggman saying, Sonic, Ladybug, Cat Noir, but, but how? Yo, Eggman, Shadow Moth. Thanks for that little skydiving adventure the other day. We should have known you'd still be alive, you stubborn heroes. You even brought backup. What are you doing out here? I see no reason to tell you. In any case, we're busy. Both Eggman and Shadowlock quickly make their getaway as Sonic, Ladybug, Cat Noir, Rainer Rouge, and Carapace fall out to them. They quickly manage to catch up to the evil duo. Sonic ends up calling out to them. Eggman! Shadow Moth! <laughs> The akumatized Egg Beetle then appears as both Eggman and Shadow Moth prepare for the fight. Hold our new power, Egg Beetle, go! The akumatized Egg Beetle clamps its pieces together, ready for battle, as Sonic, Ladybug, Cat Noir, Rain Rouge, and Carapace all charge at it. As it fires missiles at the group, and manages to dodge as Sonic uses the boost to quickly catch up to it. The other hero is not far behind as Sonic quickly uses a spin dash uh, on the Egg Beetle. Along with this, Cat Noir uses his baton and hits the Egg Beetle as Ladybug attempts to use her yo yo to trap the Egg Beetle while Carapace throws his turtle shell. And Rainer Rouge hits the Egg Beetle with a flute. However, the Egg Beetle then unleashes a flurry of bombs, forcing the heroes to dodge quickly. As Sonic uses a homing attack and Cat Noir calls on Cataclysm! Cat Noir then charges forward, destroying the object the Akuma was in as Ladybug quickly purifies it. Everything turns back to normal as the trio of Sonic, Rain, Rouge, and Carapace manage to finish off the Egg Beetle, forcing both Dr. Eggman and Shadow Moth to make their escape. And after letting Cat Noir recharge his miraculous, the heroes manage to find one of the temples of Gaia, and upon entering the temple, they manage to bring back to life of the Green Chaos One. And one of Earth's broken pieces gets placed back in its right place, as Tails shows some footage. From there, everything mostly plays out the same up until the heroes encounter the Dark Gaia Phoenix and it screeches at them. Sonic the Werehog, Dark Bug, Cat Blanc, Rain Rouge, and Carapace prepare for the inevitable fight. Just like that, the fight begins. The Dark Gaia Phoenix firing pinions at the heroes, but Carapace quickly manages to use a shield to protect them, as Sonic the Werehog uses his arms to punch it in the face, as Cat Blanc uses his baton, and Rain Rouge uses his illusions, while Dark Bug throws a yo-yo at the creature, but the Dark Gaia Phoenix quickly envelops himself with an aura of fire, forcing them all to dodge her, as she ends up firing as well more pinions. The heroes begin to struggle as Sonic the Werehog and Carapace try to hold down the Dark Gaia Phoenix. However, Dark Bug has a trick up her sleeve and she ends up calling on. Lucky Charm! 
and she ends up getting a water gun as she uses her lucky vision. She quickly realizes that the dark guy of Phoenix is attacking with fire, and she should clap back with water. But as she quickly fills it up and fires at the dark guy of Phoenix, badly damaged it, allowing both Sonic the Werehog and Carapace to get the finishing blows, defeating the dark guy of Phoenix. Defeating the guy of Phoenix and restoring the red chaos world, the heroes head off to the next location. However, both Dr. Eggman and Shadow Moth are fully aware of what they're doing and have sent units to guard the remaining temples while also trying to figure out how to gather all of Dark Gaia at once. Meanwhile, after the heroes manage to restore the blue, cyan, and purple emeralds, the heroes arrive at the Shimmerai Temple, where, uh, where they're ready to restore the yellow emerald. However, after restoring the emerald, Chip manages to get his memories back thanks to the temple, and Chip explains everything to the group. My real name is Light Gaia. I draw power from the day and light and guide the planet to its rebirth. My job was to protect the planet from Dark Gaia. But Eggman broke the world apart himself, and Dark Gaia and I were awakened before we should have been. That's why Dark Gaia broke apart, and I didn't know who I was. I didn't remember what I was supposed to do. All because this isn't the proper time of awakening. Time of awakening? Dark Gaia grows over millions of years, then rises to destroy the world. And I put it all back together. We've been doing this over and over, again and again, since the very beginning of time. Have you encountered any miraculous holders? Fortunately, no. So you were asleep all that this time? For millions of years? For ages and ages. Oh, but it's thanks to you. Hmm? Even at night, when me, Ladybug, and Tender War like this, we're still ourselves. Not like the other people we've seen. You must be protecting us this whole time. I haven't done anything. You're the reasons. You haven't changed at all. More specifically, for Seer Sonic, your mind has been able to resist Dark Eye's corruption. But for both Ladybug, and Tender War, your miraculous has been protecting you. Same for you as well, Rain Rouge and Carapace. You're too strong to lose yourselves. Amazing. Okay, I get how they're not getting corrupted since they are miraculous, but what do you mean I'm the reason? Yeah, you never doubt yourself, no matter what. You never give in to the night or the darkness inside your heart. I think it's because I knew that about you. That's why I wanted you to help me. It's been so fun getting to see the world. I've lived here since the planet began, but I didn't know a thing about it. That it's so pretty, or that food tastes so good, or that people are so nice. I'm so glad I got the chance to discover all of this, all that, with all of you. And I'm so glad that you will help me find my memory. I will never forget you, all of you. Thank you for everything. Goodbye. Hey! Where do you think you're going? But my memory is back now. And well, from here on out, it's my responsibility, so um... I mean, there's no reason for all of you to come along, so I should just... Do we need a reason to help a friend out? Yeah, besides, Chip, we're not about to let you go out all on your own there. We're gonna help you. Thank you. Thus, they all head off to Eggman Land to restore the final chaos and to put a stop to both Eggman and Shadow Moth. From there, the heroes arrive at Eggman Land and manage to restore the white chaos and manage to fully fix the earth. However, both Eggman and Shadow Moth are done just yet as they have another trick up their sleeve, that being the Egg Moth Dragoon. And if you're wondering, yes, this is the Egg Dragoon, just more powerful now, and having Shadow Moth's name be on the sheet as well. The heroes stare down the Egg Moth Dragoon as both Eggman and Shadow Moth speak up. Looks like you're a bit too late, Sonic. Eggman! Shadow Moth. Thanks to the Doctor's wonderful technology, Dark Guy is whole and complete. Let me tell you, to put together this little creation. Behold, the Ultra Hyper Prototype 1! Crush them. Thus, the fight with the Egg Moth Dragoon begins as both Eggman and Shadow Moth fire both bullets and drill attacks, forcing the heroes to dodge as they jump on multiple platforms dodging attacks. While Carabas uses his shield and Rainer Reese uses losing to trick people to it. Warhog manages to use his arms and hit the machine's green spot as heroes will realize that's the weakness, so as they all begin to attack it. Sonic the Warhog uses his arms, Dark Blood uses her yo yo. Capelon uses his baton and claws while Raina Rouge creates a loose and distracting will do, and Carapace protects her. The shield. 
And after a while, the heroes managed to defeat the evil doer, shocking to them with Eggman saying, How could we lose? We need to do something, and fast. However, before the evil duo can make their next move, a scream is heard, and Dark Gaia reveals himself, shocking everyone there with the heroes asking, Whoa, what? Look, Dark Gaia fully reveals himself, with Dark Book asking, Chip, it, is that dark? Yes, it is. That's Dark Gaia. The heroes look at Dark Gaia in horror as both Dr. Eggman and Shadowmoth come over, telling him to destroy the heroes, only for them to be easily knocked away. As Dark Gaia turns his attention back to the heroes as they dodge his attacks. However, Sonic, Dark Bug, and Catblon fall to the ground. All the other heroes look shocked, with Chip asking the uh, trio. What's wrong? The trio scream in pain as Dark Gaia's energy is removed from them by Dark Gaia himself as he reclaims it. The other three heroes look on in horror as three of Dark Gaia's own eyes appear, and he roars. Sonic, Ladybug, and Kandawai lay there on the ground, while both Rain Rouge and uh, Carapace try to help the trio up, with Chip saying, Get up! Chip! Run, Chip! S same to you as well, Rain Rouge and Carapace. R run! Chip then notices that Dark Guy is about to attack, but before Dark Guy's hit can land, Chip shields the heroes as a green orb appears around them. Chip then says, Seven lights of the earth rekindle. From there, the seven temples appear around Chip, transforming him into the Gaia Colossus. Sonic, Ladybug, and Captain Noir quickly recover and look amazed, as does Rain Rouge and Carapace. From there, Ship ref uh, refocuses his attention on Dark Gaia, as Dark Gaia roars. And just like that, the final battle begins, as the first phase of the fight mostly plays of the same. The only difference being the presence of Ladybug, Cat Noir, Rain Rouge, and Carapace. And after a while, it seems like they've won, only for Dark Gaia to get back up and spread a well of darkness which spreads all over the world as we see Amy with Professor Pickle and we see Paris as the darkness continues to spread all across the world and Dark Gaia transforms into perfect Dark Gaia and roars at the heroes as the seven chaos symbols appear and forms around the heroes transforming them all into their super forms. Let's finish this. Heroes charge a perfect dark guy who quickly activates his shield so we can focus only on the Gaia Colossus. When the Gaia Colossus punches perfect dark guy in the face, as perfect dark guy roars at the Gaia Colossus and fires meteors at the Gaia Colossus, who manages to dodge and throw. <laughs> manages to dodge and throws punches at perfect dark guy, while well, perfect dark guy claps back with a barrage of lasers and meteors. And after a while, the heroes manage to break through the shield with the supersonic homing attack and perfect dark guy. And all the other heroes uh, with their respective weapons. And after a while, they manage to get Perfect Dark Gaia on his last legs. He fires a massive laser at the heroes he managed to dodge. And all of them attack Perfect Dark Gaia's main eye. As Perfect Dark Gaia screams in pain and Supersonic fishes them off, piercing Perfect Dark Gaia's head. As Perfect Dark Gaia screams in pain and falls on the ground. While the heroes fly, exhausted, as they turn to the Gaia Colossus. Supersonic gives it a thumbs up before the heroes turn back to normal and fall unconscious as the Gaia Colossus catches them. While that's happening, the year turns back to normal, but Chip quickly realizes that he needs to get the heroes out of there, with them saying, You must live. Gaia Colossus then wraps the heroes around a green force field and throws the heroes up to the surface as the continent falls in and the Gaia Colossus falls into the lava. Meanwhile, the heroes arrive at Paris and fall on the ground and they get back up and notice Chip's bracelet. The heroes quickly go over to it. Son picking it up and looking at it, as Shix talks to him telepathically with him, saying that he'll never forget them and how he'll always be here, be there with them. A part of the earth you, you tread. Sonic and the others hear a smile as Sonic puts on the bracelet, and the heroes look out into the sunrise and taking a deep breath. The heroes run, ready for whatever next, ready for whatever comes next, and that's where we're gonna end this. What if? For right now. So, what do you guys think of part 5? Did you expect Shadow to start getting more and more suspicious of who Shadow Moth could be? Or did you expect the Sonic cast being able to go toe to toe with Sue Han? Or did you expect both Rain and Rouge and Carapace to be involved with the Sonic Unleashed and go super alongside Sonic with the Bug Cat War? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, get hyped. 
or the next part as the next part we'll be seeing sonic and the black knight adapting the story so get after that and i'll see you all in the next one